Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Level Test Management Certification. We are in chapter one talking about managing the test activities and as a part of it, we are in 1.2, the context of testing and shall be looking forward to the next segment today that is 1.2.3, the test management in a hybrid software development model and try understanding what exactly hybrid test model could look like and at the same time, how do we do the test management in that. Well, to begin with the definition to the hybrid software development model, we need to understand what exactly it is. Of course, it's a collection of both, that is the traditional and the flavor of Agile. That means uh, I may say that you know we can do uh, some of the specific combination of these models, like I can start with gathering the requirements for the whole project like traditional models, but implementation can happen sprint by sprint. So when we blend, the characteristics of traditional models to that of agile practices, we put this together as a hybrid software development lifecycle model. And, and indeed, the activities may have differences and there could be a number of reasons why we would do that. So let's quickly just start, try understanding that what could be the reason of doing hybrid SDLC model and what could be the factors which can be seen as a contributing element. So number one, of course, hybrid software development models integrate elements from both traditional sequential approaches and agile practices to suit the specific project needs or organization transition sometime. The following are common reasons to use the hybrid software development model, although depending on the organization and the project, there can be other reasons as well. So it's not necessary that reasons what we are discussing are the only reason, but most often or most commonly we find these two are the major reasons which we have why we would prefer hybrid model. Number one, the hybrid as a transition to Agile. Hybrid as a transition to Agile simply means the organization is looking forward to tackle their current challenges and at the same time, they're looking forward to achieve the best from their practices. So here, transitioning from traditional to Agile methodology can be challenging due to the fundamental changes in the workflow, culture, and team dynamics. Hybrid models provide a balanced approach that eases this transition by combining the structure of traditional methods with the flexibility of Agile practices. On the other hand, hybrid as a fit for purpose, some organizations or projects may not be able to move to Agile completely. So projects that are at high risk may require sequential tasks for some things and Agile practices for the others. They can use a hybrid model as it fits their purpose. Now, if I just collectively put together, number one, we are saying that sometimes the organizations are old enough and they have been doing traditional, but it's time they want to understand how Agile can help them to overcome the drawback of the traditional. So they look forward to transition from traditional methodology to Agile. So that's their one reason where they're keeping some of their known activities or proven activities traditionally, but at the same time, they blend their activities with respect to that of uh, the traditional, uh, sorry, the Agile methodology. On the other hand, the Agile may be a perfect fit or sometime may not be. And that is where we understand that some of the organizations say that working in Agile is not a key practice for us, or maybe our project characteristics does not allow to do that. For example, if you get into industries like automotive, they still practice a lot of traditional model than that of Agile practices, but they still try to keep some kind of things which are Agile driven. For example, they try to manage the task board, they try to manage a stand-up call, they try to manage the retrospectives every single two weeks of iteration, but they still say that our requirements are not in form of stories, they are not in form of acceptance criteria. We still have traditional requirements, that is writing SRS, BRS, FRS, etc., to deal with their proper management of the documentation. They may not do brief documentation like Agile, but they will still have the blend of the traditional with respect to that of like uh, having heavy documentation in the project, doing things formally because they might be driven by regulatory bodies, ISOs, etc. So they may not believe on writing high level test cases or high level of documentation. Their project may still support with heavy documentations. So point being made is that hybrid is a combination of two, but with different reasons. 
And again, there could be any other reason as well, which we can talk about, which can define that why someone would like to go with hybrid. Now let's talk quickly about how the test management could happen when it comes to hybrid SDLC models. So right here, the most important thing we are talking about is in a hybrid setting, the test management activities may include the following. Number one, evaluating the team's understanding and capability to seamlessly transition between traditional and agile methodology. Indeed, very important thing that when we are doing it for any of the reasons, that is whether you want to migrate to another one or you have a project specific need that you cannot leave traditional but yet you want to practice some of the others. It is very important to understand what is my team skills and knowledge about this transition. What kind of transformations will take place. Also to add here that is identifying strength and weaknesses in adapting to a hybrid approach because I just don't have to move it. I have to understand what could be the challenges will I be going with or going through and at the same time what could be the benefits I will be having of moving to towards the hybrid model. So it's more of like considering all the constraints and the factors which will be influenced or influencing your migration towards hybrid and how it will impact the testing activities. The next point here is to say ensuring the team is adapt uh, at combining structured process with agile flexibility so the team should be ready to do that and at the same time the team understands what transformations will take place what activity changes will happen and we are ready for it further to add of course enhancing collaboration between the test team and stakeholder to better manage testing within the sprints and traditional test phases it is very commonly understood that the team might be used to something in traditional models but when we blend to the hybrid we may have to look forward to see how we can collaborate better, how we can work together, because Agile is going to bring that flavor into traditional for sure. Whereas traditional never worried about working together. However, they uh, worked independently. At the same time, they tried achieving the goals. So some transformation will happen from every single side of it. The team skills, the process improvement, or process strength and weaknesses, the team's uh, working culture and many other things like that. Let's also add further here, participating in coordinated uh, efforts such as Scrum of Scrum for testers to maintain focus on testing while contributing to the overall development objective. And finally, tracking and reviewing test effort and cases within sprints to ensure they align with the agile practices. So point being made is there are very self-explanatory points, but yet, it is very important for an organization to understand that how the team will get adapted to it, what kind of changes will take place. And these changes are supposed to be well defined that whether they should give us the benefit or maybe they could be a nightmare for the team to handle this change. And if this does not turn out to be a good outcome, we can hamper the whole project also. So for a test manager, it becomes very crucial to understand that if we are adapting towards a change in the development model, then it becomes important for us to see how the team will uh, fit into that. At the same time, how will this impact the amount of testing or the effort we put towards testing? So managers should share their view of uh, identifying all these uh, considerations to back to the project management to uh, finalize on shall we move towards and how exactly we will fit this into our day-to-day -day work. So put together, we just wanted to understand how the test management works in the hybrid and what factors and considerations to take into account for the test manager. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.